for joining me today my name is Chimangato and thank you very much that you could spare your time to come to the channel to watch this video if you're joining me for the first time today I'd like you to please become a member of this family by simply subscribing to the channel so that you're the first person to know when I upload the video we are officially on level one of the lockdown in South Africa. And because people haven't seen their friends and families in the longest time, I thought some people would really like to host family over their homes. So I thought it would be really a perfect time to do a table setup. So in this video, I am going to be showing you items that I keep in my house for when I want to host people and also be telling you how much each of the items cost me as well as where I got them. No, in fact, I am using China Mall. This video features China Mall. You guys will not even believe that some of these items are just little as when rent. I think it's amazing, guys. All right, so I hope that you're going to enjoy this video and that you will be back next week for more. So I just want to start by showing you um, some of the items that I keep in my house for when I want to host um, friends or I think really anybody really that I'd like to host for something girly and pretty and uh, I think elegant um, as I said most of the stuff that I will be using is from China Mall I will I think in a few weeks um, go to some of my favorite shops for when I want to buy homeware stuff so that you guys can sort of have an idea of where I go to buy and how much things are um, so yeah let's get started um, I'll start now with the cheapest item that I have over here. It's, um, what do you call it again? A napkin ring. Yes, a napkin ring. Um, so this, it's not the fanciest. And maybe it's shiny so you won't see it properly. It's not the fanciest. But anyway, who cares really, huh? It's not the fanciest and it um, was one rand each at China Mall. Um, so yeah, I got 10 of this because then I was buying, um, or rather most of the things that are accessories that I was buying were coming in 10. So I decided then everything must go come in 10. So this was one red, like I said. Okay. And everybody's favorite, <laughs> this, uh, gold wear. So I think this can be very quite expensive if you are going for like the real deal. Um, but I got this also a China Mall and a set of six of each. So a, six, a set of six spoons, a set of six forks, and a set of um, knives weigh I think 120 and 150. So what I do with these, um, I've had them for over a just a little over a year. And they still look very, very good. They still look very, very good. So what I do is that I don't use them on my day-to-day -day, um, silverware. I only take this out if I'm hosting or if I just want to have a special dinner or whatever the case really. And I think this is why they still look very good. Because, I mean, I got them at China Mall and I can't be really too sure about the the quality. So I didn't want them then to start chipping or for the gold to start looking funny. So in order to preserve it, then just use it. I recommend if you're going to get from China Mall, you use it when you're hosting or for special dinners or whatever it is really. So there we go. Oh, you guys will not even believe it. How cute is this napkin? This napkin were coming in in a set of 10 and they were 50 rand a set. So it's not 50 rand, man. 50 rand for a set of 10, you guys. That is China Mall. I honestly think that I need to go do some shopping with you guys at Channel Mall so that you can see um, where I get my stuff. And this was not necessarily from a shop. So you will see more especially um, at the Channel Mall that is my favorite, the one in um, Main Reef Road, Johannesburg. You'll see that if you're going to buy from vendors who are not necessarily in shops, there is no fixed price. So wear your negotiation cap and really you can get away with anything. Um, yeah, but I didn't have to negotiate for this. So the guys, they just said, no, these are 50 Rand and it's so pretty. It really is just so pretty. 50 Rand for a set of 10. One of my favorite buys. And then I've got this runner. This, I think I got at 30 Rands, you guys. It's a cream white and gold. You probably will not see, really. I don't think you're going to see. But yeah, this is just a bit of how it looks. 
so yeah this i think did i get a 30 rands or 50 rands it couldn't have been more than 50 rands look i've had this for a lot for for a year so don't remember the exact prices but yeah this is also from china mall right and um so basically like i said i'm just showing you items that i will be using for like setting up the table and um i'm going to be using oh, there we go there we go yes i think this is such a beautiful sort of um floral shape aside um looks like the plate there we go um what normally happens or in the shop that i buy these things from if you're going to be buying any of those items one between five then you pay like a slightly higher price but if you're going to be buying in sets of six then they count as stock so your price slightly goes down so just um, take that into consideration if you're going to be buying most of this uh, dinner you'd rather just go for you know stock price which is from six upwards and these I think um, an item was um, God, really, I cannot remember, but it's a very, very affordable shop. It's one of my favorite shops at China Mall, and I will most definitely go there when I go do a haul with you guys at China Mall. Um, but it must have been really between uh, um, 15 and 20 rand a, a piece uh, for the stock price. Yeah, so we are going to be using this for our table setting. And um, you guys must have seen these other plates from, you know, most people who do event day because it's from the same shop as I got the plates and it's the same principle that if you buy six and more um, they count they give you a stock price and these you will normally find between 20 rands upwards depending on how fancy it looks right um, I'm not too sure I'm gonna if I'm gonna use this mirror as a center centerpiece kind of thing I don't know but I also got this at china mall there were a set of uh, three i think it was about 250 somewhere around there i don't really remember china mall you guys china mall is like my favorite favorite place and um one other item that i may use as a center i really don't know you guys will see candle holder yeah i got this at i think it was a uh, 120 a piece and i got two pieces so there we go it looks very fancy a bit yeah so i may use it i may not we'll see how it goes right and um oh my favorite artificial arrangement you guys so this is two bouquets of uh white roses i don't know if you're gonna see i don't know if you will i really don't know but anyway and so what I did is just then I unbundled them and sort of spread them across so that they could fill my vase. And those were coming at about 30 rands per bouquet. And then the greens, I just got one bundle because this then I think was, um, was it 40 rands somewhere there. So I then I just used my plier to make individual strands so that then it looks like this. We will most definitely be using this. We may not use the vase, but the, but the vase I didn't get a channel more anyway. Uh, but these are got a china mall and they are one of my favorite artificial flowers arrangements in my house all right guys then i hope that you're going to enjoy this video let's start to style our table setting okay guys um obviously the first thing to do is to lay your table i've been sort of contemplating if i should use a white tablecloth or a cream white but i thought white would be a bit brighter and i wanted to dim it down so i've decided on a cream white and uh, the color scheme that we're going to be running with is cream with gold and a dash of pink maybe it won't even be a dash of pink it would be a lot of pinks but here we go
do this whichever way you want I've already done three of this like that which I will try and show you um, but I mean you can always decide if you would like to just um, fold it however and maybe put it here Oopsie. which then shows like that or you want to have it on the side I think there are so many pretty ways of folding them I'm just not skilled yet I mean you can decide to always have it like this whichever way I've just decided to do it the other way which I'll show you so you will have it folded in um, like this four times and you'll take your napkin ring and uh, just do it under like that is that how I did it? no that's not how I did it how did I do it like this? to make a comb right I'm gonna show you guys a close view of this You guys this is how everything looks so far and look if you're just going for something simple this could really be it really does not need to be really any complicated but uh, we're gonna um, try and put more accessories because I mean you know we must be extra around here <laughs> but yeah I think it's quite simple I think it looks elegant if you are hosting your girls I think they'd really appreciate something like this it's, I think it's just elegant and very simple really and I mean to think that it's on a budget I mean who would even imagine and here goes the final look guys courtesy of China Mall how gorgeous you guys So as you guys can see, I just added a um, few accessories, uh, artificial flowers, candles and glasses and that is just about it. Most of these items are on um, my previous video so if you're interested to know where I got them in detail you can watch um, videos uh, below this. Uh, but just quickly, all the vases that you see are from Pep Home. The Glasses as well are from Pep Home. The champagne glass I think I got at uh, $14.99 and the wine glass is $21.99. The small vases where I think, uh, I really don't remember, there may have been 10 rands and then the bigger one, um, the exact price, I think it was 30 something rands, the exact price is on my Pep Home haul. So if you guys want to go and have a look at that. But this is how our table looks, you guys.